up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, and I am absolutely super thrilled to be giving you this brand new Red Hot Chili Pepper song in a guitar lesson tutorial format. <laughs> anyway, uh, appreciate your support by subscribing to this channel, and um, you know, just been having a lot of fun back here with Marty Music, my brand new project, and thank you so much for the support. All right, so it starts with uh, the bass, but I'm gonna teach you that so it's kind of the underlying theme of the song. It's an A flat, which is the fourth fret of the E string, then to an F, which is the first fret. So we just go. Remember, this is the bass. Then a C note, which is third fret A, then B flat, first fret A string. Here it is again, A flat, F, C, okay, so check this out. I'm going to use my looper pedal to play that, and I'll show you kind of a piano and a guitar part, and check it out. Here it goes. Right, so that's just, you know, me playing around with some effects, but I'm going to show you what's going on. The piano is kind of doing this kind of thing, but you can do it on guitar. And what I'm doing to get that piano piece or guitar piece is I'm uh, barring the sixth fret of the B in the high E, and then I'm hammering on the eight to nine on the B. And the reason I'm barring the six is then I hit the six of the high E. And I have a, a dotted eighth note delay and I can just tap the rhythm. A lot of delays have a tap tempo. So that'd be called a dotted eighth note, and I have about one and a half repeats. And then the other thing you can do, which is more the guitar part, I add a little flanger, listen to this. So it'd be one, two, three, four, ba da, ba da, ba da, ba da. And listen to it with uh, some delay. You know, you start mixing that all together and you get that kind of trippy psychedelic sound. All right, so now here's the bass line, uh, you know, slapped, slapped happy by Flea, but this is good to know for guitar too. So it's a C, which is the third of the A string, and then fifth of the G, and then three, five on the G. So three, five, three, five, then th uh, three, four on the E, and then it goes back to this. So check it out. Then I'm going to do my pinky right here on the six of the E, back to the three on the A. So check it out. You have three, five, three, five, three, four, five, three, five, and then six on the E, six, three on the A. And so the chords underneath that, C minor chord, the piano is playing that, and then an A major seven, which you could just play as guitar, you could play it A bar, A flat bar chord, I think I said, yeah, A flat major seven, 
So an A flat bar chord. Dun, 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 C minor. Bum, bum, A flat. Bum, 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 bum. F minor. A flat again. Then the C minor. Stays on C minor. A flat major. C minor. A flat major. F minor. A flat major. Then the C. Stay on C. So over that part, there's a. So I'm going with the wah pedal, I'm going one and two and three and four and to the tempo. And I'm going three to five on the G string. And I'm palm muting. I'm letting that string vibrate under my right palm. I'm going three, five. And I'm getting a lot of muting too with my left hand. So you're not hearing the note, it's not. When you palm mute with your right hand and lightly palm mute with your left hand here. And, and it does that over all the chords of that verse. And it's just like a rhythmic, it's almost like the guitar player is a percussion player when he's doing that. So let's, uh, let's recap what we got, turn that wah off. So we've got the uh, the intro. And then over that, the piano part. And then the guitar part. And then it goes into the flea bass line. that that's pretty clean but with lots of palm muting yeah every once in a while he gives it a little bluesy thing right there which would be the fourth fret of the B then you have the real one of really the only main parts where chords are played on guitar and so check it out so it's like F minor then the A flat back to C Stay on C Yeah! Then it goes to the chorus, sorry uh, So it's A flat major Now if you're playing with a full band there's an A flat major seven, which I was kind of, I said that word earlier, and that would be more of this kind of thing. <laughs> which would, uh, you know, the bass is covering that bass note, but for, you could, as a guitar player, you could cover the fourth fret of the low E. And then it's six, five, four, three. It's a more jazzy chord. They use it on Under the Bridge, other stuff. Da, 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 da. Then F minor. Ba, da, ba, ba, ba. Then C minor. So that's an A minor shape. Ba, da, ba, ba, ba. Then B flat major, which I'm going to play right here. It's barred on the first and then third fret of the D, G, and B. Ba, ba, da, da. 
for this. F sharp minor, C sharp minor, B flat major, yeah. the bridge which is some really cool stuff going on there uh, the chord progression I like a lot it's E flat major a lot of this is on piano you know they added a piano I, I just saw them live not live live but on the computer and they had a piano player kind of hiding in the background poor guy couldn't really see him <laughs> they snuck him back there that's actually more common than you than you might realize players off the side of the stage like Van Halen would do that. So uh, E flat major, six fret, you know, barred, and then uh, eighth fret of D, G, and B. So E flat major, then the same area, but B flat minor seven, which you can play like that. So it's barred still on the sixth fret, ring finger on the eighth fret of the A string. So that's a minor. B flat minor seven, so E flat major, B flat minor seven. Then we're gonna go down to that F minor, F minor, then the A flat major. Da, da, da. So that's the bridge, and Flea's going in his underwear, in his whitey tidies, tidy whiteies. Sorry. So E flat major, B flat minor seven. F minor, A flat major, E flat major, B flat minor seven, F minor, A flat major, drum break. <laughs> covers us through all the parts of the song. So I could get it kind of close for the solo with uh, with some flanger. So here's without flanger. Here's with flanger. So that is kind of a chili pepper sound sometimes. Um, it sounds pretty close for... Uh, multi-effects unit, the line six, M9. Then I can put some delay with a few repeats, and then you put that together and it sounds pretty close. Kind of get this trippy little extra sound effect but i'm going to show you the line right now if you made it this far i'm going to show you the uh the little line there and it's coming from you can think of it as the c minor pentatonic with the nine so we're going um you know the rhythm you know over and over and so it's the 11 10 8 on the high e Then I go to the 11 of the B. Then I move out of the position, which, you know, I mean, there's different spots to do it. You know, um, there's two spots where it's really going to work. 
This might be better up here. So 11, 10, 8. Then we're going to hammer up to the 12 from the 10 on the G. So we hammer on from 10 to 12 on the G, then 8 to 10 on the G. Then we do um, 8 to 10 on the D, 8 to 10 on the A, then 6 to 8 on the A, then 6 to 8 on the E. Once we get to that G string, we're hammering up each time. Effects back on. Flanger and delay. some other little nuggets of things going on there with lots of effects but he does it in two octaves one is the between the six and eight on the e and then the eight and the ten on the a you know that kind of thing and then a little minor scale climb down Five, six, back to the E string, eight. And then you should do the same thing an octave up, which would be between the eight and the 10 on the D. And then the 10 and 12 on the G. Lots of uh, effects, you know, the delay and all that stuff. So, you know, just some bonus things for you to kind of noodle around with. And uh, yeah, hope you had fun. All right, hope you uh, enjoyed the lesson. I had a lot of fun giving it to you. Uh, thank you for subscribing to this new YouTube channel of mine, Marty Music. I've got a website as well. And you get a free course even when you uh, sign the mailing list over there. I uh, really appreciate your continued support. And uh, if there's a song you'd like to see or a lesson, technique, anything you can think of, you can like this video, leave it in the comments. And uh, I'm reading them, even responding to as, you know, as almost all of them, as many as I can. And uh, thanks again. We'll see you real soon.